Hey y'all, it's Sunshine. Alrighty. Survived another day. It's uh, 5.30 and 103, 102. Lovely. Um, okay, so there was a couple of questions that I want to address. Um, people are kind of... What are you doing in there? Um, people kind of asked a couple of questions. Because I showed my room and they didn't quite understand some things. The mister and I are still together. We still love each other dearly. Um, we're still together. Nothing has changed on that part. The only reason I have my own room is because when I would sleep in there, the snoring would keep him awake. And I would quit breathing. And that would, he would stay awake just to make sure I would wake up and start breathing again. He gets up at 4.30 in the morning, every morning, to go to work. And we both knew that that would just be exhausting to him. To have to deal with that all night and then try to get up and go to work. So we made the decision to try and see if, you know, if, if I did okay in another room. In the extra room. And um, so I came in here. I slept better, he slept better. You know, there's couples that just do better in different rooms. So I told him, I said, when I first got, the, when I first came in here, I said, hey, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then I really liked it. And I said, I'm gonna try to, because this room was storage. There was crap everywhere, everywhere. Even the bed was full. And um, I said, I'm gonna clean this up, make it my little space. And he's like, I'm fine with that that's fine uh, so I pay start paying rent and um, the reason I don't have the whole house to myself is because this is his mom's house and she lives in the other bedroom um, so you know for me this is the best scenario because nobody comes in here without knocking none of all the animals can come in here they're not allowed in here this is an animal-free, smoke-free zone. None of that. Because the mister's a, a heavy smoker. And um, I don't like that. And I, uh, another issue was... They were... I was going to have to go to a lung doctor. Because my lungs had started wheezing really bad. And I was on an inhaler. And that was because I was in that room. And once I moved over here in this room... Things got a lot better with that. I still have to use my inhaler. Um, but I'm not wheezy like I was. So anyway, don't don't get upset or anything like that just because I'm in another room. This is the best scenario in our situation. You know, there's people that sleep in separate rooms every day. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So anyway, um, I got some cross stitching done today. And it looks so pretty. It looks so, so pretty. I had to move, move the Q-snap. And I'm loving, loving. When I run out of a pink, I have to use another pink. And it looks just kind of crazy off, like it's an accident. No, it's on purpose. <laughs> it's on purpose. Um, I just reach in the tub and, and pick whatever works. If I'm doing purple row, then I reach for a purple. If I'm doing a pink row, I do a pink row. So, also I went on a mission. Because I really wanted um, a pattern that I could do in the recliner. Just chill and not have a lot of weight on me. And I've got some beautiful yarn for for baby. Real thin, pretty yarn. And I was like, I really want a pattern that I can use this with. Because um, I don't want the thick blankets right now. I can't handle that heat. So, um, I came across this pattern. 
These glasses, I, I don't even touch these glasses, and they're covered in prints in a matter of seconds. I don't know what's going on with these bad boys. But, anyway, it's called Fave Crafts, F-A-V-E Crafts, Wish Upon a Star Afghan by Rosanna Beck. And I wish it was color, because this one is gorgeous. And I think the next page is a close-up. Yeah. It's a free pattern, so I can show you some stuff. I think this will be the one that uh, will work for me. So, um, and it's used, they use a five millimeter hook, which I'll probably use because, or 550, because um, that yarn is very thin. And see, the problem here is uh, they use medium worsted weight yarn, and um, I am not going to be able to do that. But they did give the multiples. And I love ad cans that give me multiples. So that way if I want to do it in a bigger size, I can. Um, I thought it would be great to have some summer blankets on hand for new babies. You never know. Some people may have got bored in the winter and having babies in the summer. You just you just never know. So, And they're using um, Red Heart Super Saver. If you don't, if you, this is going to be one of the few times I tell you to actually go watch this channel. The Crochet Crowd did a thing on Red Heart Super Saver yarn today, or yesterday. And it was really good. It was really good. About how the quality is just garbage. Um, and it is. It really is. It's cheap yarn that is so, like I keep telling y'all. Every time I use that stuff, this finger gets cut open. Every time. Or it gets really, really raw. It just depends on how long I use it. But he said growing up in Canada, all they had was Bernat. And I like Bernat. It's pretty decent yarn. Um, but my go-to... Well, okay, it used to be Hirschner's Worsted 8. The quality was there. The price was really nice. Um, the quality still there, but they jacked up their prices pretty hardcore. So, um, it left me to go to an alternative, which I turned to Mainstays from Walmart. I was very skeptical. Very, very skeptical. And then I started using it, and now I'm in love. I love it. My favorite th yarn, though, is I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. But I cannot afford the prices. Their prices are through the roof. And uh, I mean I guess so. Because the yarn quality is amazing. I love love it. And so. You know it's one of those. You got to sacrifice. Do you want to sacrifice quality over. You know. How much it is. So. And I always try to use the best quality yarn. In blankets um, so that you know you can cuddle up with it and not be like oh I'm not wearing that blanket you know how itchy sweaters are and you're like nope not wearing that I try to avoid red heart in blankets um, for that reason so yeah like I put this scrap this ball of whatever this is in, a, in the in the green and blue I mean the green and blue blanket I have no clue what it is it's old really old but it's not scratchy I think it's just old but it was a joy to work with it was really poofy and it didn't it didn't cut up my finger so anyway that is what I got for you today. Um, I hope that answers some questions. And if you still got more questions, just email them to me. I will answer questions. Um, as long as we don't get too personal. Because um, some things I won't answer. Because they need to stay personal. 
but I try to tell y'all as much as I can and um, not be so vague but you know it is what it is I love you guys I hope you'll have a wonderful day and uh, I'll talk to you soon bye guys